Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the death of the title of my vlog. Rob's Readings is now done. Holmes Alone, that's the new name of the vlog. So here we are. Welcome to Holmes Alone, and we're going to keep the numbering the same, so it's Holmes Alone number 41. Today is Friday, and uh, let's see, the coffee of the day is Caribou, and it's Caribou brand, and it is Obsidian, which is their dark blend. It's very good, and um, a little bit smoky. Every time I think of the word Caribou, or every time I drink Caribou coffee, I think of the Chili Willy villain from the cartoons that always framed Chili Willy for his crimes. I just, one day I wish Smedley would just catch Caribou Lou, you know? The mug of the day is Miami. And I got this at a Starbucks in Miami, on uh, Miami Beach, actually. I was there for a business conference and wifey came along with me. We brought our Chihuahua Mickey Mouse and we walked the beach on my times off and we had mojitos. It was a very nice trip. All right, now we're going to get to reading here. We got a few quotes. Okay, Robert Byrne has number 420. And believe it or not, number 420 has nothing to do with marijuana. It's probably because this book was made in 1982 when nobody knew of that number. Absence makes the heart go yonder. Yonder. 421 is so politically incorrect, I have to skip it. But I'm going straight to 422, which was a classified ad in the San Jose Mercury News. Yard sale. Recently married couple is combining households. All duplicates will be sold, except for the children. That's a wise choice. It's a wise choice. I wonder if it was the Brady Bunch. I wonder if their name was Brady. 423, Henry David Thoreau. It takes two to speak the truth. One to speak and another to listen. All right, Nietzsche says something here that I've been talking about for years. Okay, this is 424. He says this in 1888. All right, only sick music makes money today. And let me tell you something. I know what he was talking about, too. In 1888, yep, you guessed it, the most evil, the most evil musical instrument ever known to man. The cat piano. All right, anybody who still listens to the cat piano it's got to be a little bit of a jerk. Oh, that reminds me. What about the worst, the worst cat dalliance of all time? <laughs> cat juggling needs to be stopped, okay? It needs to be stopped. So we're raising money for cat juggling to stop it. So send money. Send as much money as you can, and I am going to get to the bottom of the cat juggling operation in New Mexico. All right? Well, I appreciate everything, guys. I uh, hope you have a nice weekend, and we're going to, uh, going to get back to work. All right? And I'm going to finish my coffee. <laughs> Thank you.